hello everyone today we are going to implement this gameplay options menu so here we have options for change to change the difficulty mode and the aiming mode and auto reload invert mouse y axis change mouse sensitivity x axis and y the axis to the different sliders so we are going to work on the ui part for the gameplay options today this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support right so so far we worked on graphic settings audio settings uh, display settings and the only thing remaining in settings is gameplay which I'm going to work on today and yeah before moving to moving on to gameplay options gameplay settings i had to make one modification uh, in the widget options which i couldn't show in the last episode it's regarding this so here i only needed to connect cancel changes to request a no panel event and also i had to use this in this is for the back button and when i use the open panel as well i had to reconnect it so in the same way which i forgot to show in the previous episode okay so from that now let's work on gameplay options at the moment it's blank so here i wish to add functions selectors for to select game difficulty and mouse invert mouse axis and mouse sensitivity mouse x sensitivity and mouse y sensitivity right so as always let's get started first with the ui part so first we need the difficulty selector let's add the input no option line again if you haven't watched previous episodes you wouldn't understand uh, what option line is that's a widget a custom widget we implemented in one of the previous episodes so i'll call it difficulty and then we need invert mouse y axis enabled or disabled I'll call it inverse mo invert mouse so this should be options here would be enable or disable and mouse X sensitivity and mouse Y sensitivity so these should be sliders so option slider mouse x sensitivity another slider mouse y sensitivity and if we have like gun mechanisms we can have like auto reload options and aim in mode toggle or hold options stuff like that also blood enabled or disabled things like that also can include in the gameplay options but at the moment in my game i don't have such options so i'm not going to enable it i'm not going to add it to the screen oh actually i can just add just for the sake of just as uh, only for visuals i mean mode but i will not implement this functionality here auto report okay now let's go here in the pconstruct we have to set the default values first let's set the names and some default value without thinking about saving and loading 
uh, the previous values we have assigned or applied previously without thinking about that let's just add some values and set the names mm, I mean mod initialize option oh sorry a main mod shouldn't be a slider here I added a slider this shouldn't be a slider and auto reload also shouldn't be a slider sorry about that there should be option lines before initializing we need to override the values override options then we can assign values so the name should be main mode value will be zero level so we can make an array with just two options um, toggle hold right and we can promote this to a macro so we can reuse it for other to initialize other input lines option lines let's set a reroute node here let's put it below and let's add the level also as a parameter so we can define that also here right let me collapse this initialize options right and the next part is uh, auto reload can duplicate this it should be enabled disabled default option would be zero oh wait we should set this name also as a parameter And the name is Amy Mod. Here, auto reload. And then we have difficulty. Duplicate this. We should have three options easy medium hard 
default value here would be zero. M is difficulty. Right, the next one we have is inward mouse. That's also enable and disable situation. So we can use the same thing. Because invert in X doesn't is not applicable. And the available and the available options are enable or disabled. So let me remove this. Enabled disabled. Right. Next option is mouse X sensitivity. and uh, initialize option we have the same function with the name but here it's a little bit of different the name is mouse x sensitivity by default i'll use 0.5 and use the same option for the mouse y sensitivity okay and that's all for the option initialization right now let's connect this to the output okay so now compile now here we can see difficulty i mean mode auto reload invert mouse x mouse y everything we need right now shall we see how it looks oh we need spacing right Select them all under padding in the bottom, make it 20. Right, well, we have some difference here. Graphics starts from here, and gameplay starts here. All other options. Let me quickly check what's the difference. Ah, uh, here we have border. Why? Okay, now it should be gone. All right, so all the options are here. Uh, I can change these options, but they are not really doing any changes, not affecting the game at the moment. And let's work on that part in the next episode. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download through Patreon page. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.